If you've ever posted a bad comment about a business online, when they see it, can they really fine you for that unkind review? Here's ABC's Rebecca Jarvis. When Robbie Zonit checked into his hotel in upstate New York for a wedding last year, he didn't expect this. It smelled bad. We kept the windows open for the entire time we were there. So he wrote a review on Yelp and gave it just one star. I wouldn't recommend this property for anyone. Then a surprise landed in his inbox. The hotel emailing Robbie that his negative review would cost the just married couple $500. Fine print the bride and groom had apparently missed when they signed their contract. And that language in contracts is becoming more common. It's an intimidation tactic that once discovered clearly um, gets shut down right away. It backfires. Yeah, absolutely. The hotel's rating on Yelp plummeting as a barrage of users posted angry comments. One person calling it the worst hotel in history. On some levels, you are what your Yelp reviews say you are. 100%. In some cases, businesses have even taken the extreme step of suing reviewers. Yelp says the law is on the side of the consumer. They have a right to express their opinion and accurately and truthfully describe their experiences. Back at the hotel in New York, we were told the owner wasn't available to speak, but in a statement, he expressed embarrassment and regret. Now claiming the policy was a joke. And David, if that was a joke, the reviewers tonight certainly aren't laughing about it.